Let's uh, let, let me start this video very calm and uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta shut my window. Hey, keep it keep it down out there. Fucking idiots. Now, uh, to begin my proper classy video, <clears throat> fuck you, Jake Paul. Fuck you, you racist, egotistical, manipulative, over entitled piece of shit. You are lower than the lowest person that I have ever met in my life. And the fact that you still have millions of children subscribed to you absolutely baffles me. For months and months now, I've avoided making another Jake Paul video after my first one because I, I just, I, I didn't give a shit. And I also didn't want to be seen as a person who was only trying to go after trending topics for views because, uh, I'm better than that. I'm better than that. I know I am. You guys know I am, right? Right? <laughs> I'm good. I'm I'm good YouTuber. Yeah. You, you you know you need to you need to fulfill this you know this self-loathing that I have for myself. Please just help me. <laughs> Now it's no secret that the Martinez twins left Team 10 and they made a whole 27 minute video exposing Jake Paul for all the harsh, offensive things that he did to them, the things that he made them do to each other, the pranks, destroying their wall, keeping money from them so they couldn't give it to their family, and just a whole line of fucked up shit, not to mention, you know, the, the racist remarks that he would make towards them, but you know, that's, that's all okay because, you know, Jake's a great guy. You know, the Jake Paulers are the best team in the world. They would never do anything wrong. <laughs> Trigger, do it, do it, mother. Now, before this video came out, everybody was talking about, you know, they didn't understand why the Martinez twins had left. They didn't know what was going on. They were confused, blah, blah, blah. Jake Paul said he didn't understand why the Martinez twins had left. But, you know, now that this video's come out, we have a pretty good fucking picture of what's going on. And since this video has come out, there have been three different videos released by the Paul family. Yes, not just Jake Paul, but now we've brought in Jake Paul's mother and Jake Paul's father, who I didn't even know had their own fucking channels until then. And now I find out that Jake Paul's mom has around 780,000 subscribers? I'm, uh, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, like, this isn't just like, you know, she sits in front of the webcam. Hey, guys, it's me. It's Jake Paul's mom. You know, I'm here to talk about how great my son Jake is and how much he really helps people. And blah. no, these are full fledged like Jake Paul style vlogs, even with Jake Paul style clickbait, like the vlogging butts video or the tattoo prank on Jake. I I, I don't I don't know how old this woman is, but I'm sorry. But there, there there's a little bit of an age limit for making these kinds of vlogs. This is basically the equivalent of if Ray Sype, you know, the, the Shrek meme guy who would dress up and just scream. <coughs> this is the equivalent of if he stopped doing those random little memes and started just uploading daily vlogs that were highly edited with music and, you know, emojis in the titles and things like that. It's that kind of jump. And then you have the dad on the other side who is basically doing what I said at first where he's sitting in front of a camera just making random videos talking to the camera. At least I think I... I only saw the one because I, I, I can't do any more research without blowing my head off. So basically to sum up what Jake Paul's parents videos were about, his mom took shots at Alyssa Violet and at the Martinez twins for God knows whatever reason. I guess she's trying to defend her son in some way, shape or form, but there is no defense for what he's doing. We have the video proof. We know that he's lied in the past. We know that he fails to come forward with the truth most of the time. And he's had a couple of times when, like, when he said he was going to Houston, he actually did that. So that's his, that's his one. He, the, you always get one. But Jake Paul's dad on the other side, he made a video talking about how Jake Paul had a former manager who was, uh, I don't know, like abusive or something like that. And how the Martinez twins were trusting in this person now and how he's like, well, I gave him the idea for the savage, which is literally just the word savage on a sweatshirt. That's it. Now, I may not be a head fashion designer or anything like that, but that's just not really something that you should really make a bother about when your son is being accused of racism, abusing people, withholding money, which is against the law, by the way. This goes out to Jake Paul and Mr. England is my city. It is illegal to withhold funds from people that they have rightfully earned through work. So those videos came out, they didn't blow up too much, and then Jake Paul decided to release his apology. That's right, people, Jake Paul has officially released his first apology. Shut the fuck up. 
So he put his apology out in the form of two Twitter videos that equivalent to about four minutes or something like that. And uh, how was it? You know, how was Jake Paul's first ever apology? It, it was shit. It was dog shit. I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't so goddamn awful. I had a completely different video planned to put out today, but I just had to make this because I was actually disgusted by Jake Paul's apology to the Martinez twins. So rather than watch that entire apology and have to listen to any more of his horrible, horrible voice, I'll just tell you what he talked about. He basically said, hey guys, I'm sorry for all these horrible pranks I pulled on you. We were just doing this for business. We were just making videos together. That's all it really was. I'm sorry that the language barrier was difficult for you. And correct me if I'm wrong, but what part of the Martinez twins video did they talk about not being able to understand Jake? The only thing they talked about really not being able to understand is the term beaner, which he was calling them, and then he proceeded to call them Martiner, which is just a combination of their word and beaner combined. So it's it's even more racist because it's personalized. But Jake says, sorry guys, these were just the pranks, you know, I was pulling pranks on everybody, not just you guys. I didn't mean to make you feel singled out. I didn't mean to handcuff you to the bed. I didn't mean to tear down your room. I didn't mean to pretend to almost taser you in your sleep. I didn't mean to throw things at you. It was just part of the videos, guys. You just, you didn't understand, you know, like it's a completely different language. I get it. That is horrible. It is literally the most vile thing that somebody has ever said in the form of an apology. If I was strapped down to a chair, clockwork orange style, and forced to watch montages of Hitler's greatest moments, I would still walk away from that more comfortable than I did than when I was watching Jake Paul's apology video. To abuse, offend, and manipulate people, and then say it's because they don't understand what you're talking about is wrong in every sense of the term. And I really sincerely hope that the internet wakes the fuck up to see what this kid is doing. And the problem is, is that it's not going to work. I'm a channel with 173 subscribers. I have zero fucking clout on this site. But I will say this, and I know this for a fact, that your entire fan base is fucking brain dead children. Jake Paul has manipulated his fans, his quote unquote friends in Team 10, and so many other people to make things go in his form, and possibly even his own parents, because I don't know how much they know about his personal life. But for him to do this to everybody, to act like he's the good guy, to act like, oh, it's not so bad, yeah, they just didn't understand, you know, we just don't understand, he didn't mean it, Jake Paul's not a bad guy, I want to fuck fucking slap him. And that's really it for this video. No other memes, no other jokes, no other things to talk about. I have another video that I had planned for today and I'll probably just put it out on Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which day, but I'll have it ready. And uh, maybe I'll do a double upload. Maybe I'll do a double upload for you guys. It, 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 it ain't, it ain't, it's not gonna happen. I don't have that kind of privacy in my life. I apologize for how serious this video is because it's just, it angers me. It really angered me to see this apology and I had to make a video about it just to feel better in my personal state of mind. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. It would help out a lot. Share this video so it spreads. Just, I want this to spread. Even if I gain nothing from it, I want this video to spread. Comment down below if you have some shit to say. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share the channel if you think somebody else would enjoy the content. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Trust me, I've been feeling empty Trying to get your love back, baby, dude